Hello, this is Alex Kazmark for the FXEdge.com, and this is your free daily Forex video for Friday, February 12, 2010. A quick reminder before I begin, the purpose of this free daily video is education and not an alert service. I'm not going to make any trade recommendations, but what I am going to do is point out levels of support and resistance for the next 12 to 24 hours. Please keep in mind that trading with leverage is very risky, so please don't trade any real money until you've established a proven track record of success on a demo account. Trading conditions are always changing, so make sure to watch tomorrow's video to stay updated. Well, the Eurozone's economic situation remains the number one concern in the market. Today's volatility was expected as traders awaited a solution for Greece's debt problems. Unfortunately, the details were bleak. European leaders are working on further action to help Greece, such as setting up a lending facility with each Eurozone member contributing according to its size. Until we see further stabilization in the Eurozone, we are expecting more volatility and more reasons to support the dollar with all the momentum from the last few weeks lending a hand. Tomorrow's release of German preliminary GDP report, along with U.S. retail sales and University of Michigan consumer sentiment, may assist the dollar in finishing off on a strong note. Currently looking at the euro dollar on the daily, we're going to be looking for possible dollar strength here, finding a first level of support at 136.60. A break lower may target the recent week's bottom at 135.70, and a break below that may target 134.70. Excuse me, 134.20. Our first level of resistance will be at 137.50. A break above that may target 138.50, followed by 140, 14080, and 142 over the next few weeks. That is, if the market is able to close above the 138.50 level. Moving on to the pound dollar trading at 156.90. The market has stayed within the recent first levels of support and resistance over the last three, four days. We're looking for support at 155.50, followed by 154.70. A break below that may target 153.50 and 152.80. First level of resistance is going to be 157. It's going to be a small level here, that considering we're only 10 pips away. A break higher may open up the room for extension up to 158, perhaps up to 158.50, followed by 159.20 and 160. Looking at the dollar Swissy trading at 107.05. Just a couple of minutes ago, we were trading at 106.95, seeing a little bit of movement above the 107 level. 107 is our first level of support, excuse me, first level of resistance. Uh, we'll see how that acts over the next few days. Uh, consider that to be insignificant right now. Uh, the next higher level is going to be at the 108 figure. Very important level as that has been the top set over the last few days. A break above that may open up room to 108.80, 109.50, and 110 over the next 5 to 10 business days. Our first level of support will be at 106.50, followed by 106, coming down as low as 105.50 and 105. Looking at the dollar yen trading at 89.77. Market is safe, stabilized between 89.50 and the 90 figure. We're now looking for reversal for the market to continue heading lower. First level of support will be at 89. A break below 89 opens up 88.20, followed by 87.20, 86.20, and possible double bottom at 85. First level of resistance will be at 90. A break above 90 may open up room to 91.50, followed by 92, 92.30, and 93.20. If you'd like a more detailed analysis with potential trade opportunities, please join us in the members section. Until Monday, this has been Alex Kazmark for the FXEdge.com free daily Forex video for February 12, 2010. Have a great one.